Hello everybody, Mike Welch coming to you right from the racetrack here at Churchill Downs where weather was the story this morning, not only locally, uh, but around the country and uh, changing some work schedules of horses uh, looking, uh, prepping for the, not only the Derby, but the Oaks as well. We had one Oaks worker here on the grounds this morning. The weather didn't change those plans. It was out for a spin. Trainer Dallas Stewart sent out for a spin, out for a spin this morning uh, during the Oaks Derby uh, training session. But uh, she just went an easy half mile in 49 and four over a racetrack that was sealed and uh, officially called muddy at the time. She worked in company. Like I said, she did it easily and galloped out five ace in 104. Other two uh, Oaks workers uh, to report on was at Gulfstream Park. Jeltrin uh, worked from the gate, five furlongs in a minute and one fifth. Fast track down there at Gulfstream today. Galloped out three quarters in 114. She'll hop on a plane on Tuesday and be uh, uh, flown to Churchill Downs for the Oaks. And over at Keeneland, trainer John Service pushed up Jaywalk's work one day. Breeders' Cup winner Jaywalk's work one day because of uh, rain in the forecast uh, for the Lexington area later today. And uh, she worked five furlongs in 59 and one, galloped out three quarters in 112 and three. On the Derby front, two workers today, both in New York, and one of those, again, also moved up because of the weather. Trainer Kieran McLaughlin uh, had scheduled to work for Heichel, uh, the third place finisher in the wood for Friday. Pushed that up to uh, this morning. Went five A's from the half mile pole in 101 and two, according to my colleague Dave Gretting, who was on hand for the work. And uh, he said that it was an easier work. Uh, Heichel worked last week and uh, I think it was 47 and change. Went a little faster uh, than Kieran would have liked. So he uh, uh, toned things down a, a little bit today, especially since he moved up the work one day and was coming back on only six days. Also, the wood runner up, Tax, uh, went four furlongs in 47 and four. Uh, had a strong gallop out, according to Grenning. Five ace in 101, six furlongs in 114. That work actually pushed back a day by trainer Danny Gargan, who I believe was in Ocala for the sale, so uh, not weather related there. Locally, during the Derby session, again, the same uh, a bunch we've been talking about over the past few days uh, were out this morning over the muddy surface, and I thought uh, several of them looked very good. By my standards, uh, was out today for the first time during the uh, Derby Oak session since his work on Monday, and I thought he looked terrific. Neck bowed uh, going around there. He's just made a great impression here uh, since I've been here and uh, apparently uh, right before I arrived. Also, I thought Improbable looked good, was asked to do a little bit more today than yesterday's session, also coming off of work on Monday. And I thought Omaha Beach looked terrific again today. Uh, hit two, neck bow down, uh, without the draw reins, but still uh, looking good this morning. Getting ready for a prospective work here Friday. He's the lone derby worker on the schedule for Friday. But again, weather may play a big part in all of this. Uh, rain scheduled again or uh, forecasted again here in the Louisville area this afternoon, kind of heavy rain. So Mike Smith scheduled to fly in uh, for the work, but uh, they're going to monitor the weather all afternoon and that uh, work uh, could well be put off until Saturday. The couple of guys that are smiling over all this bad weather in Louisville are back in Florida right now, and that's trainers George Weaver and Todd Pletcher, who made the decision to stay back at home in Florida rather than ship here to have their final works, which were been scheduled tomorrow of a possible wet racetrack. Instead, they will have their final works down in Florida, a uh, spinoff, uh, cutting Yuma and Vacoma with Javier Castellano scheduled to fly in for Vacoma. So the schedule is a little bit up in the air as far as Derby and Oaks workers for the next scheduled days. There's also three prospective Oaks workers on the docket for tomorrow, but uh, those works could be pushed ahead as well. So we'll uh, be right here monitoring this situation at DRF.com. Like I said, uh, not only the best coverage uh, for Derby 2019, but also uh, the DRF Clocker Report. We have people everywhere for all these workouts. Dave Grenning in New York, Donald Harris up at Keeneland this morning, uh, Toby T uh, uh, Terrell out in California for the Santa Anita, work, Santa Anita work still to come, and I'll be here all week long, as I hope you will be at DRF.com for Kentucky Derby 2019.